What's up guys, I'm CJ and I'm back for another video and today we are going to be doing my PM skincare routine. So I will leave my AM skincare routine in the description box down below. This is kind of like my summer skincare routine that I've been doing on a fairly consistent basis at this point. I will show you a couple different variations that I do, but I'm going to show you the main routine and demonstrate what I do on a nightly basis and then I'll just show you like what my retinol night looks like and what a other possible skincare night looks like. So this is just going to be like my baseline routine. Obviously I am back to the silver hair since the AM skincare routine video. I just did it uh, during the day while I was sitting at home, so that's cool. First step for my skincare routine is obviously you gotta put the backwards hat on, most important step. So first thing I do after I do that is I will go in with my Balm or Oil Cleanser. So I am trying to get rid of all of the dirt, the oil-based goo on my face, the sunscreen, everything on my face that is more oil-based. And this is just going to be a first cleanse to kind of get the surface shit off before I go in with the actual skin cleanser. So today I'm going to be using the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Cleansing Butter. Looks something like this. I am almost done with it. And I take a lot. I like I take a, a lot, a lot, that might be a little much. But I like to make sure that I have a plenty enough slip on my face while I'm doing this, and then I just dot it all over my face. Of course, while you're watching this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing, and to find me on all of my socials. I, of course, am on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Now that I got that out of the way, I just massage the bomb cleanser into my face. And I like to take time to do this. I'm not in a big rush, especially at night, you're just getting home. Give yourself plenty of time to thoroughly cleanse your skin. If you're wearing makeup, make sure you get through your eyebrows. You might want a separate eye makeup remover, but really all an eye makeup remover is, is it is either an oil, a bi-face oil, or it is an oil type product, like a silicone or something else. People have such an aversion to oils, so they're, the companies profit off of that and bank off of that, so they make these eye makeup removers that are not technically oils, but really they're just acting as an oil and some of them truly are just a bi-phase oil. So you're just as good to get a oil cleanser, which is probably going to be least less expensive in some cases, and then just putting it all over your face and actually cleansing your entire face. It's actually a lot better for the earth and a lot better for your wallet than the cleansing towels. Plus those are super wasteful. You know, do what you want. I prefer a cleansing balm. So I'm gonna massage this in, I'm gonna rinse it off, and then I'll be right back with my normal cleanser. All right, so my face is rinsed. I like to use a lot of the oil cleansers that emulsify. I do have some muslin cloths for the things like the Demand Meal Restorative Cleansing Balm. That one I will take off with a, a cloth, but this one comes off really nicely, and a lot of my oils come off really nicely just with water. So the next thing that I'll do, and you would do in your skincare routine, of course you could go in with an oil again. If you wanted to go in with something more hydrating like the Demand Meal Balm, you could. But this is where you'd want to go in with your cleansing gel, foam, cream, milk, whatever you want to use. The one I've been using on a pretty regular basis is the Coarse Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. So I just take a little bit on my fingers, like that much, and then massage it onto my face. And down the neck, of course, because you should be taking your skincare and your sunscreen and everything down your neck. So after I put that, I just like to get it onto my face initially, and then I go in with my Clarisonic. Of course, this has already been dampened. And this, I think, is the... This might be the, the acne scrub brush. I don't know. I'll probably fast forward through this. I After I let it do, I let it do its thing. It's going to beep a couple times, and then I go rinse this off. Alright guys, so I finished scrubbing my face with this. Of course, one thing to note when you are using a Clarisonic or any side of a part, any type of cleansing device, you want to make sure that you're not pressing too hard onto the skin. That's fairly implicit, but let the brush do the work. So just kind of let it sit on your skin and move it around. You don't really need to be pressing super hard on it, and that goes for the Vanity Planet one, the Clarisonic, the Foreo, any of those ones. So I have fully cleansed my face, I'm going to go rinse it off, and then I will come back with my next step. Alright, so my face is fully rinsed and cleansed at this point in time. So I like to do all my cleansing and like masks before getting in the shower. So I will do my balm cleanse, my oil, oil cleanse, and then my what are my foam cream gel cleanse. And then depending on what I do next will kind of dictate what 
products I'm using. So then I, I'm just going to show you my baseline routine. So what I like to do after a cleanse, if I'm not doing any sort of masking or anything, I like to go in with some sort of uh, face mist. I preferably use one that has like an oil-water combination. So this one is by Mahalo. This is part of the Love Plus collection. This is the Love Plus antioxidant, hydrating, stimulating, or hydro-stimulating botanical essence. So this has a bunch of plant waters and plant oils. So this one, if you spray it on your face, it's just going to leave your skin very well balanced and comfortable. So I use fairly liberal amount. And I will do some kind of toner no matter what. So after I've done my double cleanse, I will go in with either a mud mask, a acid mask, some sort of treatment mask, and I like to do all of that before getting in the shower because then I get in the shower and rinse it off and I come out and I'm ready to do the rest of my skincare routine. So for tonight, I'm not going to be doing any masking, so I would just go in with this mist and then fairly soon after I would be getting in the shower. So I'm going to hop in the shower right now and then I will come back for the rest of my routine. Right, so I'm fresh out of the shower. This is when I kind of start the rest of my skincare routine. First thing I do when I get out of the shower, I'm going to go in with some type of toner. One that I've been really, really liking as a both a toner, an essence, a face mist, kind of a multi-purpose product is this Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence. It's a moisture boosting toner. There's witch hazel in it, witch hazel in it a bunch of botanical extracts, botanical waters, and some botanical oils. And like I said in the previous video, I've really been liking the toners that are kind of a oil water blend. I think that's really great for balancing your skin and giving your skin that initial moisture hydration balance that we really need. So I'll go in. This is a pretty expensive product, but I've really been enjoying it, of course. And I'm liberal with it. Also, it has, I don't know if I said this, but it has witch hazel in it, so it'll give you sort of that astringent property. And then I just tap it in, like all of my other products. If you've watched any of my videos, I like to tap my products in. Both for circulation, bring circulation to the skin, that's what the redness will be from. It'll help push product in, or at least that's the idea behind it. That is a Korean method that I learned from the very beginning. And my hair has a treatment in it, so it's all slicked back and kind of weird looking, but that's fine. So I let that soak in for a minute. I like to let all of my products soak in. Of course, I'm not going to show you the wait time between everything because God knows my morning video was long enough, so I'm not going to try to babble through this one. But I give like at least a minute or two or five between serums. I don't really like to rush it at night. What I like to do is I will take my whole like group of products up to the living room with me and I'm either playing a game watching TV, watching Netflix, whatever, and I'll just kind of sit and I do my products when I feel that they're absorbed, really being used well, and I'll just do it kind of at my own leisure. I don't really have any certain time limit. I just like to make sure everything's being fully utilized and fully absorbed. So that soaks in super duper quickly. So the next thing I will do is I will go in with my first treatment essence. Of course, this will be the same as my morning time one, but at night I like to go in strictly with the essence a few times. So I go in three to four, four layers, same thing, I just do a little puddle in my hand and press it all over. Same thing, I will fast forward. All right, so one thing I will say about the Iope Essence is it has a similar texture and consistency to the Hadalaba Gokujin Lotion. It sort of has that like gelatinous cushiony feel to it. So the one thing I will say about it, though I don't really like it for the first treatment essence effects, I do like how it has that cushion so it provides a nice hydrating cushion to your skin, a nice hydrated plumpness. So what I like to do after letting that sit, as you can see it's still soaking in, so I'll let that soak in for a minute. I will go in with like a lip mask or something else or I'll walk around do something around the house. But the lip mask that I've been really enjoying is by Complex Complex Beauty. They sent this to me and this is their Pout Protector Vanilla Lip Mask. The Complex Beauty, they have some really, really cool masks. They're basically just a mask. They have like four or five different masks, a face mist with glycolic in it, and this lip mask. So this has a really, really interesting consistency. Let's see if we can get it to focus. So let's see. Another one of my favorites is the by Agave Lip one, but I usually do that at night. So it's a little bit runny. It has a super nice, like, vanilla bean scent. I really like this mask. And I use it more kind of like a treatment. It soaks in better than the Agave one, so I use this as a lip treatment more than just a mask. 
Once the first treatment essence is fairly well absorbed, while that's absorbing, I will go in with my first eye serum, or my only eye serum, and that's the one by Niald. It's the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. I don't know if I've seen a lot of results from this, but it is what I'm using at the current moment. So I go in, same thing as the Caffeine Serum, if you watch my morning one. I put two or three drops. It's a little more liquid than the Caffeine Serum. So two to three drops, it goes everywhere. And I put that in under my eye. And over. Then I let all that absorb. So from here, what I would do, I'm going to give you my couple alternate skincare routines at this point. So from here, I would go into my treatments, my other products, which you're going to see in a minute. But if, it, if it's a Retin-A night, a Tretinoin cream night, or if it's another routine that I'm doing, I'm going to show you exactly what I would do. So at this point, if it's a Retin-A night, I would wait 30, 20 to 30 minutes for the products to fully absorb and let my skin dry quite a bit. I then will go in with a pea-sized amount of the Obagi 0.1% Tretinoin Cream. I put that all over my face and neck, and then I wait another 30 minutes for that, for that to fully absorb. You don't want to apply any products on immediately afterward unless you experience sensitivity or irritation from the Retin-A Cream. If you apply a product directly after applying the Retinoin Cream, or the Tretinoin Cream, it's going to dilute the effects and the intensity of that Tret Cream. So if you're experiencing some irritation, you can go into your moisturizer and then the Tretinoin Cream, or you can put a product on immediately afterward. If you're good to go and you want to go full strength, apply this, wait 30 minutes at least, and then go in with your next product. I like to keep the routine fairly simple if I'm doing a Tretinoin Cream. So 30 minutes, I will spray my face heavily with my Andalou Face Mist or whatever mist I'm using for the night, and then I'll just go in with the uh, Bless Bomb by Leilani. And I'm good to go. I'll do a fairly heavy thick layer of this and I'm done good for the night. If I do feel I need a little bit more something, I'll go in with a sleeping pack such as this one by Noruko. It's a transoxamic acid and apple seed one for brightening and line management. But usually I'll just go with the Tret Cream, the Leilani Balm with a very wet face, and then I'm good to go for the night. Another routine I've really been enjoying is after doing the Iope First Treatment Essence, I'll do my eye products. I will do a two pumps of the Sunday Riley Good Jeans all over my face and neck. Let that sit for 20 to 30 minutes or at least until I feel the activity sort of stop, stop on my skin. With the Good Jeans, I really do feel quite a bit of tingling and activity on my face. So I like to wait at least 30 minutes to let the activity fully go, let it do its thing, and then I will same thing wet my face, give that lactic acid something to cling to since it's a humectant, and then it will go in with the Bless Lit by Leilani Balm, or the Leilani Beauty Balm, whatever you want to call it. So those are two routines I really like. If I'm not doing the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, I could also go in with the Alpha Lipoic Acid by The Ordinary 5%. It's also very strong. I have really been liking the Good Jeans though, so I haven't been using this one quite as much since I started, but I can use them interchangeably, just depending on what the effect is I'm going for. So, since I'm just doing my base routine that I would do on two to three times per week, I'm going to show you what that is. So after the first treatment essence and the eye serum have soaked in, I will go in with my first serum. So the one I'm going to use right now, which you have to shake well, is by Okoko Cosmetics. They are a Canadian green beauty company, and this is the L'Exir de Puer Puerte. I, I'm probably saying that wrong, totally apologize. L'Exir de Puerte, Sang du Dragon. So it's the Dragon's Blood Serum. It's a 10% niacinamide serum, but it also has five times concentrated aloe vera. It has a whole host of incredible, incredibly strong, incredibly powerful botanicals, oils, and extracts. I really, really like this serum. So I go in, it's very watery, and I find that I only need two pumps of it. So I go in two pumps in the palm of my hand. It, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is super watery. Then I just go in and then this one absorbs really really quickly. One of the most ing interesting ingredients besides the dragon's blood, so dragon's blood is a from an Amazonian plant. It's known for its incredible regenerating properties. It's great for anti-aging. I really really love seeing dragon's blood. The only other product I've seen with dragon's blood besides the rhodiol Dragon's Blood line is Peter Thomas Roth had one, and that was the very first 
skincare product that I had ever used was the Peter Thomas Roth Eye Dragon's Blood Serum and the Face Serum, and I really, really like those. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a totally elevated, sophisticated, elegant version of that. And I've really been loving it. Niacinamide, of course, is great. It's a B vitamin. It's great for promoting the circulation on your skin. So it's going to help bring oxygen, nutrient, and blood to your skin surface. It also helps with blemishes. So it's a multi-purpose, really good vitamin. So this one is really strong, very active, very powerful. So even though you're not going to be feeling anything, I really do like to let this one sit at least for 5 to 10 minutes just because it's sort of a more expensive serum and I really, really want to get the full benefits of all the incredible ingredients in it. So this one I will let sit for a while longer than my other serums. So I'm going to let that sit and I'll be right back. Alright, so that Dragon's Blood Serum is fairly well soaked in at this point, so the next thing I'm going to do, I've been keeping the nighttime routine fairly simple since I started using the Dragon's Blood product. I find that it really does check off a lot of the serums that I would normally use. So I normally would use three serums at night. Granted, you're probably only going to get maximum abs absorption from one, maybe two, but three is kind of like your cap. But with the Dragon's Blood Serum, I've only been doing that one and then a hydrating serum. <laughs> So the serum that I go in with next is the Skinematica HA5 Rejuvenating Hydrator. This is really great. It has five types of hyaluronic acid in it, five different weights, and it's supposed to help actually boost your body's hyaluronic acid uh, synthesis. So it helps to create, helps train your body or push your body into creating more hyaluronic acid, so that's really, really good. It's a little more expensive, but you do get two ounces, and if you look at lovelyskin.com, they have a lot of sales and promotions, so you can get a good deal. I will do one pump for my neck and one pump for my face, and I generally only use this at night. I can use it in the day, it's quite rich, it's a little bit more of a thicker gel cream. So I spread it all over my face, and then I tap. And this one does, even though it's a thicker kind of creamy gel cream product, or consistency, it really does absorb incredibly quickly. So I'll show you kind of what the consistency looks like. So it sort of just looks like a standard emulsion. It's a little runny and it has that jelly consistency. And I go down my neck and decollete with it. And I really do like how rich and hydrating it is. It's been a really nice product. It'll pump your skin. Your skin will look amazing in the morning after using that. And I feel that uh, that absorbs really, really quickly, so I will then go in with my first mist. I like to give that hyaluronic acid something to cling onto so it's not absorbing the water out of my skin. So that's the one thing that hyaluronic acid kind of gets a bad rap for. It's known as an incredi incredibly great hydrating ingredient, but if there's no hydration in the air or if you're not providing the hyaluronic acid with some hydration to cling to, it will grab the hydration out of your skin and pull it upwards versus pulling the hydration out of the air or out of the product you put on top of it. So I definitely like to make sure I am putting on a hydrating ingredient afterwards. So one thing I'll do, after my final serum, so after doing the Skin Medica Hydrating Serum, this is when I'll do my face mask, or my sheet masks. Some people like to do sheet masks first thing after cleansing, some like to do it after moisturizing. My favorite time to do it is immediately after serums. It lets those serums soak in more. It gives my hydrating serum something to cling onto and then it will leave my face well damp and moistened and I can go in with my oil and lock all of that goodness in. So most nights at this point I'm going to go in with my sheet mask. For viewing purposes I'm not going to do that because who needs to sit around for 45 minutes to watch me wear a sheet mask. So for this video I'm just going to go in with a face mist and then on to the next product. And I'll do a couple, couple different face spritzes since I'm not doing a sheet mask tonight. So the first one I will pat into my skin. And of course, like I said, I do not go this quickly on a normal night, but I don't want you guys to see here forever. So I'll let that first mist soak in for a minute. I then go in with my actual eye cream. I have this little spatula that I got off of Amazon that I forgot to show in the first skincare routine video. I take about that much I take a lot of eye cream. This is the same, the Sem Urban Hedakiki Firming Eye Cream. And I like to use a lot at night. 
quite a lot. I really like this one. It's hydrating. It's nicely firming for the under eye area. And I, when I use especially a lot of the product, I find that fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes become less noticeable and well plumped. So as that soaks in, I kind of go back in with another mist. I let that soak in for a minute. And then I go in with another spritz of my Thousand Roses Andalou Naturals mist. Then at this point I will go in with my final mist and then the oil balm or night uh, treatment that I'm using. So I'm going to go in one more time. A little bit more. So I either will go in with my Leilani, Cham or not champagne, the Leilani Siren Serum, or I've really been loving the Blessed Beauty Balm. So tonight I'm going to be using the Blessed Beauty Balm. I go in with my spatula again. I use the other side because there's two sides. And I grab a fairly healthy amount. I like to use a lot of this. I know it's probably more than you need, more than other people would use, but you're not me. So I go in with a healthy chunk, break it down. And then I like to massage it into my face, spread it evenly, and then just press it in. If I go in with the Siren Serum, I will probably use a sleeping pack. It just depends. Like I said, I do this in steps. I do it in front of my TV or as I'm doing things. So I let the products really absorb well between each step. So like if I do the Beauty Balm, the Bless Balm, I might then wait an hour, two hours before I go to bed. If I find that my skin needs more, I'll go in with a sleeping pack. If my skin feels good, then I'm just gonna go to bed and call it good. So then I just let that absorb and do whatever I'm doing. Like I said, I'd go in with my sleeping pack or whatever is going on next. But that's been my basic routine for the last few months at this point and I've really been enjoying it. So that's all. Let me know if there's any products that you guys have used or want to know more about. I can talk more about them and yeah, that's all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know when you want to see my next skincare routine video and let me know if you have any questions. Of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.